Hey guys, Nick here. Thanks for coming by. Um, I'm going to do part three of my 20 warning signs for liver disease. Um, if you guys haven't seen uh, my one through five and my six through 10 videos, they're on the channel. So go ahead and check them out. Um, these I'm going to go through 11 through 15. And these are um, some of the more, uh, I'll say, obvious signs that you can look for. They're more visible to the eye and um, you can physically feel them a little bit more than some of the other ones that may be kind of underlining that you may need to talk to your doctor about. So starting off at number 11, sudden bruising. Uh, guys, it's really common for um, sudden bruising to happen if you just simply bump into something, that means that you're getting anemic. Um, if you're getting anemic, that's a big warning sign that your liver might not be working as well, so you may need to have that checked out. Um, and it'll be sudden bruising, you know, just from light taps, you know, not major falls, you know, or something like that. So if you don't bruise easy and suddenly you start noticing that, check with your doctor because there may be some blood clot issues or you may be anemic. Um, number 12, this is a big one with the ascites and it's sudden swelling of the legs or ankles. Guys, when you start retaining water, um, that's a big indicator that your liver isn't functioning very well. Um, so some of the pictures that you guys may have seen of me that I posted long ago were, um, you know, my legs and my ankles were just absolutely huge. Um, I couldn't even fit my shoe, my, uh, feet into my shoes. My feet had gotten so bad. That also comes when your, uh, belly starts to bloat with the ascites. So that's something to, to keep an eye out for as well. Um, the next thing, uh, that was number 12. So number 13 is increased blood pressure. Guys, um, when your liver starts scarring, there's a major arteries that run through your liver. And um, it can uh, result in high blood pressure because your spleen will start to swell. Um, your blood pressure may spike um, with, when uh, your liver function starts to decrease. So keep an eye on that. I always recommend taking your blood pressure at least once a day and keep a log of it. That way you can notice if you're starting to have any major dips or spikes. Also be sure to take your blood pressure around the same time of day. I like to take mine around noontime uh, after I've uh, had breakfast and kind of gotten my day going. Uh, it gives me a good indicator because when I wake up, normally it's a little bit low. Um, in the evening times when I get ready to go to bed, it's usually a little bit low as well. So midday is the best time to do that. Uh, number 14, and this is something that you need to go with your, with your doctor about um, with, and have blood work done, are increased liver enzymes, particularly your ALTs, your ALTs, and your bilirubin. Another thing to look for is increased creatinine levels, because that means that your kidneys are starting to not work very well, and that's because your liver isn't filtering and functioning the way that it should. Uh, bilirubin uh, levels will go into the, uh, the next symptom, the 15th symptom, which is itchy skin. Guys, this is a big one and it's such a huge pain, but when you've got itchy skin, it's almost like it's not the skin itself, it's underneath. It's like it's all over your body and it feels like the inside of your body is actually itching. Guys, that is incredibly common and there are medications for that. Uh, but that's a big sign that you've got increased bilirubin levels. Uh, so have that checked out. That can only be found through uh, blood work with your doctor. Uh, and uh, that'll be probably found if, if you go back to number 14 where you had your blood work done and your bilirubin's elevated. That usually goes hand in hand with the itchy skin. So guys, that was uh, 11 through 15. Um, I'll close out here in the next few days with 16 through 20. I hope you guys are enjoying this list and you're getting some value out of it. Um, I did quite a bit of research in putting them together because you're gonna find a lot of conflicting info. Um, some of it's repetitive, some of it's not. So I did quite a bit of research in finding the, the 20 reasons that were most common uh, throughout all of the different uh, websites and these have all been medical websites. These haven't just been, you know, just random, you know, unaccredited websites. These have been coming from uh, hospital sites, universities, uh, Mayo Clinic studies, and things like that. So, guys, these are the best credible sources that I've been able to find on the net. So, guys, uh, thank you for uh, joining me uh, from this round. Uh, as always, uh, remember to like and subscribe. The channel just gets bigger every day. 
And I really hope that you guys are getting some value out of this and are enjoying the videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. So remember, be the difference in someone's day-to-day. -day. And I hope everybody has a good one. I'll talk to you later.